guys, I'm here with a quick tutorial on the Korg Electribe. This one is, I found this out by messing around uh, how to export my pattern into WAV files so I can open it up in Pro Tools because I'm not um, a Logic user and I know that it has a, um, you can import programs into Logic, but I don't use Logic, I like Pro Tools. So this is how I found out how to easily import your WAV files into Pro Tools. So on this pattern here, I got a beat, play it for you, okay? So what I do is uh, install the uh, little, I mean, um, insert the uh, SD card, okay? And then you go into your menu here, this uh, menu button. And you go to data utility, so hit enter again to enter your data utility. Then you go to uh, export audio, but there's a lot of uh, other presets in there, but you want export audio. You hit enter, and then see there it says Ableton Live Set. And uh, sorry, I was earlier I mentioned Logic, but I was talking about Ableton. So you know you can easily import your files into Ableton. I don't use Ableton or Logic. But anyway, so if you twist this knob, you can go to WAV files only. So then you hit that, enter, and now it says working. And what it does is goes through each pad and is exporting each pad that has the sound that you used um, onto a folder onto the SD card. I will be right back. When it is finished, you will see this export audio, and you already did that. So you you know it'll while the screen says working, when, you'll know it's done when it goes back to where you were. So you hit exit, and you're back to your program. And now I will show you how to open that up in Pro Tools. One thing I didn't mention earlier is you will need an SD card. And I am, I'm a Mac user, I have MacBook Pro. This is a 2017, I believe. Um, it does have the uh, SD card slot on the side. So if you don't have an SD card slot, you're gonna have to get an SD card reader, uh, which attaches to your USB. But another trick I found too, sometimes Pro, uh, the Mac doesn't like to read these uh, SD cards. So you put this tab here right in the middle, and I noticed that um, it'll read the, the card. So I'll insert this into my Mac. Okay, and there it is. And I'll actually, hold on, let me cancel this. Another thing with Pro Tools is that it only opens uh, your session from wherever it pulls those WAV files from. See, so, so now I have it on the desktop. If I move that folder and I try to open that session again, it'll say missing files. And it'll ask you if you want to manually find or automatically find the files and link them. So I am going to put this in my... Uh, project that I'm working in. This is my current folder. I will rename that to Electribe Beat 2. Go back to Pro Tools. So create a new session. And let's just call this one um, Beat 2 Electribe. And create. And now in Pro Tools, you will go to File, Import Audio. And I put uh, the files in my Technology 2020 and Electri B2 Audio. And you want to select all these add click done 
One other important thing I forgot to mention is you need to remember the tempo that you made the beat in. So when I'm here, I'll hit OK. And you see, I got all the beats in there. But now I just want to get the uh, tempo right so that it aligns to the grid. And my tempo was 96.3. 96 and point three and then I hit OK and then if you see when I enlarge this boom it's all right there I'm gonna take my grid down a little bit to eighth notes but you can see it's all locked in everything is on beat and then what you do is you kind of just um, highlight everything so go from here highlight all that command C on the Apple and then command V or uh, command D will just drop it in right uh, right next to it so normally I'll kind of just do that a bunch of times usually I'll get about three minutes because I know that hip-hop songs nowadays are pretty short and not okay so let's say I got three and a half minutes that's plenty for me and let's see I can turn that up I have to uh... but there's the beat in Pro Tools there's my beat in Pro Tools, and that process literally took me under five minutes. So uh, before I was doing it through the MIDI ports in the back, and I was able to only do two instruments at once. I do, you know, and and then if you're doing if you want to do them all in stereo, I was just doing one pass of each instrument, and so you'd have to go, you know, if I had ten instruments there, it'd be ten passes. But now I figured this out. It's, you know, not a genius hack or anything, but if it helps anybody, that's awesome. I wish I knew about it sooner. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace. Ill-advised, out.